Hi, I'm Reverie from Sugarland Branch and I am here to show you how to crochet an amigurumi pumpkin. Amigurumi is a Japanese way of crocheting or knitting small stuffed items. Usually they are small animals or creatures like these. But because of their popularity, anything can be made into an amigurumi, including the small stuffed pumpkin that I will show you how to make. The basic crochet pattern I used is from this website, and it is free, but I added a few revisions which I will show you later. The free pattern I followed has the steps for the pumpkin itself and the stalk as shown here. Note that stitches should be worked in back loops only. The materials needed for this project include yarn in fall collars, 5mm crochet hook, fiber fill stuffing, blunt end fabric needle, paper clip as row marker, and glue gun. To start off, we need to crochet 16 chain stitches. And we do a chain stitch by creating a slip knot like so. Then inserting our crochet hook through the loop, yarn over, and pull the yarn through to make a chain stitch. Repeat hook through, yarn over, then pull through the loop. Continue this process till we create 16 chain stitches. The chain stitches give us a base from which to create our rows. So now we are ready to start our first row which is made up of the following steps. These are a combination of simple stitches which I will show you. And it starts with a single crochet on the second chain from our hook. So we look for the second chain and insert the hook through it. Note that in all our stitches, we should insert the hook at the back loop always, like so. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull through to create two loops on the crochet hook, like this. We then yarn over and pull through the two loops. This is our first single crochet. Repeat this step two more times in the next two chain stitches. Then we'll add the next set of stitches in row one called a half double crochet. So we start with one yarn over the hook, insert through the next chain, yarn over again, and pull out. You will end up with three loops on your hook like this. Then we yarn over and pull out through the three loops. This is the half double crochet. We need to repeat this step in the next nine stitches. We end row one with three single crochets. And for the next rows, we will use a combination of the different stitches from row one, but with varying numbers. So we start row two with one chain stitch and turn the row. Next, we make a single crochet in the next five stitches. Remember to work in the back loops only, like this. Then do a half double crochet in the next five stitches. Make a single crochet again in the last five stitches. This is how rows 1 and 2 should look like. Row 3 starts with one chain stitch and turn followed by a single crochet in the next 3 stitches. Row 
We'll follow this with half double crochet in the next nine stitches. Then we end row three with single crochet in the last three stitches. Rows one to three look like this. The next row, row four, is just a repeat of rows two and three done 11 times. And this is how rows four to 25 will look like afterwards. Row 26 is just a repeat of row 2, which is made up of the following stitch combinations. At this point, we can join the two ends to close off the pumpkin body. And we do so by slip stitching the two ends together like this. Then we cut our yarn. Remember to set an extra amount to use for weaving around the pumpkin body so we can close off one end. Then with a blunt tip fabric needle, we will weave the yarn around using the running stitch, like this. So pull the yarn tight to completely close off one end, then knot it like this. Turn it over right side out and fill with stuffing to your satisfaction. Then we weave this end to close the body using the same needle and yarn. Pull the yarn tight and knot it as before. And at this point, we can actually end here and add the stock as suggested in our free downloadable pattern. As you can see, the design already resembles a pumpkin, but I want to add ridges to make it more realistic, so I added these next steps. So insert the yarn through the middle and pull tight to create a ridge. Continue reinserting the needle this way till you've added enough ridges that you want. And once you're okay with your ridges, just like I am here, knot the yarn as usual. Thread it through the middle, then cut it carefully. And now we have our amigurumi pumpkin body. Next, we need to add its stock, but this time we will use a brown toned yarn. So to start the stock, we will make a magic ring. Make a loop two times on your index finger. Then insert your crochet hook through both loops like so. Yarn over and pull through. Start round one by stitching five single crochet around the magic ring like this. At the 
fifth single crochet, pull the short yarn to make the ring more compact. Then pour, put a paper clip at the last stitch to mark the beginning of each round. For round two, we stitch a single crochet on top of each stitch we made in round one. This way, we'll still end up with five single crochet stitches. We continue repeating this pattern until we reach round five. And don't forget to move your paper clip at the end of each round to lessen your confusion. Finished sections of rounds two to five will look like this. Then we start round six following a new pattern. So we set our stitch marker first at the right place. Then we start with a single crochet in the next stitch. Then we do two chain stitches. and a single crochet in the same stitch. We repeat this pattern four more times. And afterwards, our stitches on round six will look like this. We end this row with a single crochet in the next stitch and another two chain stitches And finally, a slip stitch instead of a single crochet. We finalize our stock by hiding our loose yarn. So after trimming it, we now use a fabric needle and insert it through the stock like so, then cut it carefully. So we now have a stock and a pumpkin body which we need to put together. We can stitch the two together using slip stitches, but I find it too cumbersome to do because of their small size. So I decided to use my handy glue gun instead. And with a good amount of glue, like this, put the stock on top of the pumpkin. With a little bit of pressure and some tugging, we can double check that they are secure. So now, here is our amigurumi pumpkin, ready for our Thanksgiving decorations. We can use it as a name holder like this. By gluing a flower wire like so and some fall leaves, we can create a unique name holder for our Thanksgiving dinner plates. Or you can crochet many amigurumi pumpkins using different yarn colors and experiment with various sizes for a one-of-a-kind table centerpiece like this. Or another one like this, paired with amigurumi Charlie Brown and Linus, and a whole lot of pumpkins. I have a cute themed centerpiece. Happy crocheting to all of you!